Hey nesters, welcome back to Nesting Haven. Today we're doing some thrift shopping at Goodwill. This is actually part of a collaboration hosted by my friend Nicole North Garden Thrifter. So be sure to check out her channel down below. We are doing another thrift hop. We do this seasonally. So I'm joining a bunch of other YouTube ladies, some of my friends, and we're all gonna take you along to a different thrift store and show you our thrift haul at the end. After you're done watching this, be sure to check my description to click on the link to the next Next video in the thrift top. Here we have two opal wear bowls. It features this lady with a horse-drawn carriage. It kind of reminded me of Caroline Ingalls. I thought that looked really nice with vintage farmhouse decor. Really great to use as prep bowls. So I've been keeping my eye out for a teapot for myself. I thought this one was really beautiful. It was put out by Terra Flora. It was made in China, and I'm trying to find something a little bit more of a handmade pottery style, but absolutely gorgeous. This is hands down the smallest crock I've ever seen, the Kakana Club. I believe this was originally some type of a cheese crock, and it would have had a cover to it, based out of Wisconsin, I believe, as well. I found this vintage creamer in this beautiful cobalt blue. It is made in the USA. A really solid quality. There was no chips or anything wrong with it, so I thought that was a great find. This was a really stunning piece. It is a pretty large creamer. I feel like a lot of people use this more for decor these days. Make for great bases as well. And I love that that still had the gold trim intact. A lot of times when you see that gold overlay, it kind of is worn off. So that was cool that it was still there. I found some brown top stoneware. I am in love with brown top stoneware. I've collected this forever. And this is a nice solid redware piece. A pretty large creamer. So I do resell part-time as well, and Pioneer Woman is something that is usually a really good thing to pick up for resale value. It is a newer piece, but at the same time, it has the vintage style, so a lot of people really enjoy it. I enjoy it myself. I think these look really great. It was a set of three measuring cups. Another brown top stoneware piece. This one was not redware, but still really gorgeous and only a dollar, so really great find there as well. I fell in love with this pig spoon rest and I was all set to get it. It was only a dollar. You know, it's a little bit new. It was 2001, but it had a boo-boo on its nose. I was so bummed out. <laughs> if it didn't have that, I was definitely going to snag that. And then I found this amazing piece of handmade pottery. It is signed on the bottom. It's just an adorable little basket and the florals inside actually are textured so it looks like they had gone ahead and laid some real flowers on it and then kind of pressed it down into the clay when they made it and then they painted it afterwards so it has a little bit of texture. It's really beautiful. So I adore sunflowers. It is definitely one of my favorites, but this was a 3D type image. I'm not sure of the technique that it is called to get it to be that way. I was trying to show you, like it kind of has movement when you move it. So if you guys know what that's actually called, please leave that down in the comments, that would be helpful. But I didn't really care for that feature, so I ended up not getting that, but it was very beautiful. I love the artwork on this piece. Didn't care for the frame. It was kind of a newer frame, and you could tell it was a newer print, but it did have a nice feature of it with the pottery bowl and the fruit. They have this cutesy little cow piece trimmed out in some galvanized metal. And this piece here, I thought it was very beautiful. I didn't know what it was supposed to be depicting though. And so I wasn't certain I wanted to pick it up. How cute is the little puppy here? <laughs> Pretty adorable. Had I had a dog, is that a chihuahua? I think it is. You know, if I had a dog I, like that, I probably would have snagged it, but. I actually have two French Mastiffs, so quite a bit difference in the way those two dogs look. I found this framed cross stitch, live, laugh, and love. I thought it was very beautiful. I wasn't certain about the frame. I like my pictures hanging up. I don't usually put them on the shelf, but I don't know. It's kind of a neat frame, I guess. It's a little bit more ornate than usual. 
Here is something I haven't seen in quite some time. This is primitive decor that was really popular in the early 2000s, probably for about 10 years, so about the first decade of the 2000s. Usually there's salt boxes featured on the houses, which is kind of interesting. They didn't have that there, but you know, it was made to look older to go with that older style. If you're new to my channel, if you're coming over from the collab, I do like to pick up a lot of trivets, vintage trivets, and this is a beautiful cast aluminum trivet for only $3 with the Serenity Prayer on it. I thought that was fantastic. I spied this amazing tray sitting there. It had this aged look to it. I don't think it's particularly old, but I was surprised when I flipped it over to see that it was made in Italy. So I thought that was really neat. They were asking $6 for it. It had a beautiful, like, aged ivory color and these beautiful blue florals. So very English cottage, vintage farmhouse. I think it would make for an excellent bedside table display. So Goodwill had a lot of great artwork today. I adored this print here of the farmhouse. It was in this gorgeous vintage wooden frame, really stunning. And then this image here of the ladies working in the kitchen. I just absolutely love this piece. It really made you feel like you were right there in the kitchen with them making pies. So fun. A lot of the artwork I was finding really made me feel like it probably came from the same home. It was very similar in style. I definitely got that feeling from it. I love that they had such nice wooden frames around them as well. This image was just so darling. This cowboy was coming over with some flowers, <laughs> coming over on a date, I would guess. They had a picture. I found this one of the little boy. There was another little girl, and I remembered I saw a girl that looked just like that one behind on the other side. So I did go back and snag that and kind of looked at them all together here. And the funny thing was they had them all priced differently. One was priced at 6 one was priced at 8 and one was priced at 10 And you can obviously see they all came from the same home and were part of the same set. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into the haul portion of this video. I thought I did pretty good. There was lots of really nice things at Goodwill today. So let's go ahead and get into what I ended up purchasing. So I did end up grabbing both of the brown top stoneware pieces. This is the little bit larger of the creamer and this one was the redware one. It was priced $3, fantastic deal. Happy to add that to my collection. As you can see, the other one was just a little bit smaller and the color is a little different. This one's actually just a basic ceramic, but I still enjoy this. I think it has a nice rustic look to it. And this one was actually only a dollar, so even better deal there. I did end up picking up this gorgeous signed pottery piece. They named it Bluette by Mari. I don't believe it's a famous artist. I did try to look her up and I didn't find anything, but it's really well done and I absolutely adore it. It's a nice little area to just drop some small things that you, you know, like to leave out and you need to reach often, but you kind of want to contain it. And the really neat thing is she took the actual Bluette flowers, pressed it in to the clay before she dried it and painted those in. Isn't that such a fun idea? So I thought that was really beautiful. It's very cottage. I also decided to pick up this little, I guess you would consider it a personal creamer. It's pretty small. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous blue here. It is a USA pottery. So really great quality, it is pretty heavy duty here. Only $3, I thought that was a pretty great deal. So went ahead and picked that up. I also grabbed the cast aluminum trivet with the Serenity Prayer on it. It's in pretty good shape. There's a little bit of, you know, typical age to it, but nothing too serious. This was marked $3 as well. So another great deal there. 
I did go ahead and decide to get the Pioneer Woman measuring cups. They had a set of three here, which I'm not sure if this is the complete set. I'm not familiar with this particular one, so maybe it only came in a three-piece set. This was only marked $3, and I do resell part-time, so I do look out for things that I can make a little bit of profit off of so I can, you know, pay for the other stuff that I keep, right? And so when I see Pioneer Woman, I do tend to pick it up. It resells pretty well because even though she still puts new stuff out, the older collections are no longer available, so people will be seeking those out. They might need a replacement piece or they like a particular pattern. So they are, you know, Pioneer Woman stuff is collectible and people do pay a decent amount for it. So it's always a good thing to look out for. So I absolutely adore needlework pieces. So when I saw this, I had to snag it. It says live, love, live, love, and laugh. I thought it was live, laugh, and love was the saying, but it's live, love, and laugh. And it's done in this beautiful cross stitch. The frame is really cool. It has a pretty ornate look to it. It's a little scratched up and unfortunately it does not hang up and I typically hang my stuff up. So I probably will end up reframing this, but it definitely is very cute. It has the little butterfly and the tulips on it. Some fun colors. So that was a good find at only $1. I also got this fantastic tray. I thought this would make for an excellent tray for the bedside. This was really neat because it's actually made in Italy. And so, so right there on the back, I don't believe it's a particularly older piece, but you know, it does, the sticker does look like it might have a slight bit of age to it. It's probably at least, you know, the eighties or nineties, but this was marked $6, which, you know, I thought was pretty reasonable. Had a nice aged look to the wood here and a beautiful transfer wear blue florals. So the last few items I picked up were all artwork pieces. So I'll kind of just show you them in the larger frame here because I'm not going to be able to hold them all up. But I found some really fantastic artwork today. I was really happy with it. So let's go ahead and check it out. I did end up snagging all three of the little kid pictures, one of the little boy as a cowboy, and then the two little prairie girls that match but are in different shades. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with them yet. They would resell for on their own about $25 a piece, which is fantastic since I got them. I ended up getting them for $6 a piece because one was marked six, one was marked eight, and one was marked 10. And I did ask at the register, I was like, hey, these are like the same thing. Can I get a little better deal? And they decided to give them to me for $6 each, which I was happy with. But yeah, so if I resell them, they're 25 a piece. I think I'm going to hang on to at least the little boy one being a boy mom. It's just kind of cute to have in my home, I think. And I will be reselling the off shade one of the blue for sure, but I might hang on to the matching set. We'll see what ends up happening there. But I was really happy with that find. Had a beautiful wood frame. I think it might actually be wormwood as well, which is really, really neat. And this next piece here, I just absolutely love the image. It is in a little bit rough shape. The print itself, it looks like they might've took it out of a magazine or is like some type of a poster. And it's got some wavage to it. So I might try to take it out, see if I can put some heavy stuff on it to kind of get it to flatten back down. But the image is just what took me in. I absolutely adore this. It's a perfect little country kitchen. They're all making pies. It's just so beautiful. I just want to stare at it and take it in and look at all their dishes and all their food and all, you know, the experience of what they're doing. I just want to put this in my kitchen. I just thought it was fantastic. It was $8. I paid up, you know, for a little bit, but I was like, when am I ever going to find an image like this again that gives me that same feeling? So, I mean, check out those curtains and the light. I just love looking at all the decor. <laughs> I want this to be my kitchen. It's gorgeous. And this next piece, it was $13, which, you know, I don't typically spend a lot when I go to the thrift store, but this is a very large picture, as you can see. An absolutely stunning print. This was made by Rondolf by 
which is a pretty famous artist. Had it been an actual oil painting, it definitely would have been worth more in the 130 range. But as is in frame as a printed piece, it's probably easily worth $60 or so. So definitely did good there. I don't plan to resell it. I do want to put this in my own home. But yeah, I just could not pass this up. It was just so perfect. I love farmhouses. I am starting a farm. You know, I've always gardened and I've been adding. Last year we added chickens. So, you know, it's our dream to have a nice farm, family farm. So definitely just was a nice inspiration piece. And I just love looking at it. So very happy with that. So be sure to let me know down in the comments what item I picked up today was your favorite. I think I had a lot of favorites today, so I'm not sure that I can pick myself. And also don't forget to click the link down in below in my description to go over to the next video in the thrift top. As I said in the beginning, this is part of a collaboration. So be sure to go over and check out the next video and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I definitely appreciate that. You can catch more thrifting videos with me in the future and we will see you in the next one. Thanks so much much for watching. Bye!